हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन मोर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ लर्न इट एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर ऑफ योर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक वन ऑफ अ न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास इलेवेंथ बायोलॉजी व्हिच इज प्लांट किंगडम सो बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट दीस चैप्टर्स आर द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस चैप्टर्स व्हिच इज वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न्ड अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म और द क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम and we have classified into five kingdoms and one of them is the plant kingdom and we already know that the robert whitaker which has given this five kingdom classification and has been divided the kingdom into five described the different kinds on a basis of cell structures which is the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic he also described or classified on the basis of the complexity of an body which is if an organism or a plant is unicellular or multicellular or if a cell is unicellular or a multicellular and last he classified on the mode of the nutrition which means if a organism or a plant can prepare its own food he will be known as autotrophs and if he or she is dependent on any of the other thing he will be known as heterotrophs So now let us consider what is the classification of plant kingdom from the period of Aristotle. It has been divided into various types. So the main three types are the first is the artificial system. Now what does the artificial system means? The classification on the basis of few morphological characters. Now what does the morphology means? It means a particular form, shape, or structure. On these bases, it has been divided and so called. the artificial system the second one is known as the natural system now what does the natural system means is that classification based on all the important related characters both when we are looking externally to an organism and also the internal organisms it means when we are looking an organism or different kinds of organism and they are appearing same from outside and from the inside they are all clumped into a single system which is known as the natural classification system now last one is known as phylogenetic system which is based on evolutionary relationship of plants now what does the evolutionary relationship means it is related to the process of gradual changes and development which is over a period of time which means it takes time to get the evolutionary change it is known as the evolutionary relationship so now let us understand some of the important terms related to this chapter the first is the phylogenetic system of classification that we have already learned about now we'll go to the second point which is the numerical class taxonomy now what does it means when we are using computers and assigning codes for different characters and then analyzing their features it will be calculated in numeric taxonomy the next topic will be about cytotaxonomy now what does the cytology or cytological information means it is related to the chromosomes or the number structure and behavior of different kinds of chromosome present inside a cell of an organism or a plant it is known as cytotaxonomy and when we are dividing or classify on the basis of these chromosomes number structure and behavior it will be calculated in cytotaxonomy the last one is known as chemotaxonomy as the name suggest it is using some of the chemical constituents of plants to resolve the confusion of different classification then it will be calculated in chemotaxonomy now let us move to one more important classification of plant a which is known as ashler's classification and given by ashler now he or the classified the kingdom of plant a into sub kingdoms and then divided these sub kingdoms into two categories which is one is cryptogam and second one is phanerogam now what is cryptogamy it is the known flowering or the seedless plants so cryptogam cryptogam includes known flowering and seedless plants in it the second is phanerogam which is 
containing flowering and seed bearing plants so he divided these plant a into two categories the one is cryptogam and the second one is known as phanerogam now the plant a is known as the kingdom which has been classified by Whitaker and then plant a has been sub classified into sub kingdoms which is divided into cryptogamy and phanerogamy which is known flowering and flowering or seedless plants and seed bearing plants now we'll be dividing these cryptogam into three parts which is known as division the first is thelophyta the second one is bryophyta and the third one will be known as pteridophyta now let me tell you about thelophyta these plant body is thallus like which means they have undifferentiated plant body the second one is bryophyta now what happens in bryophyta is plant body have root like structures stem like structure and vascular tissues are absent in such kind of divisions which is in bryophyta the third one is known as pteridophyta in this plant body is differentiated into true roots stems and leaves and the vascular tissues are present that's why they are also called as vascular cryptogams so now under these three divisions the thelophyta has been again divided into three kinds on the screen it is only two but i'll be telling you about the third which is known as lichens so let us talk about the first division in thelophyta the first division is algae the second is the fungi and the third one is known as lichens which is the association between algae and the fungi so thelophyta has been divided into three categories the first is algae the second is fungi and the third one will be known as lichens and lichens are in between material between algae and the fungi so let us move to the second topic of the plant a we have already completed cryptogam now we'll be going to phanerogam now what is phanerogam phanerogam is again has has a division known as spermatophytes and these spermatophyta has been divided into two categories the one is known as gymnosperm and the another one is known as angiosperm let me tell you the difference between a gymnosperm and the angiosperm the first gymnosperm is also called as naked seed plants and the second angiosperm is also called as covered seeded plants now this angiosperm which is the covered seeded plant is again divided into two categories which is not shown on the screen but will be taking into consideration in our next videos or the upcoming videos now angiosperma has been divided into two the first is monocot and the second one is known as dicot now what is monocot it only consists of a single cotyledon it also contains fibrous root systems and parallel venations in the leaves. Now what is dicot? It generally have two cotyledons at the time of birth. It also had tap root system and a type of reticulate venation in the leaves. So I hope you might have understood all the things. I'll just repeat again all the things from the starting on the top it is plant kingdom which is known as plant a it has been divided into sub kingdom which is cryptogame and phanerogame now cryptogame is known flowering and seedless plant bearing and the phanerogame is flowering and seed bearing plants now cryptogame has been divided into three parts thelophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta and only one has been divided into again three categories which is subdivision which is thelophyta thelophyta has been divided into algae fungi and lichens now in phanerogamy it has divided into one which is known as spermatocyta spermatophyta sorry now this spermatophyta has been divided into again into two which is gymnosperma and angiosperma which is known as gym gymnosperms and angiosperms now this angiosperm has again been divided into two kinds one is monocot and the second one is known as dicot i hope you might have understood these topics very well if not i urge all of you to again repeat the video and watch it again you can also note this topic down as your notes so that you don't have to refer the books we at learn it are working hard to bring you all the easy and simple learning materials which can enhance your learning and listening capabilities
If you are finding hard to understand any of the topic or want to know something in detail, you can comment your questions down below in the comment section. If you like our work, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to get updated of our new videos, do subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from the channel. For more of such kind of updates, stay tuned to the channel, stay healthy, stay safe and fit. Bye-bye.